Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I've got my John Deere LA-105. It's a small uh, lawnmower, riding lawnmower by John Deere. And it started to uh, have issues starting. And you've all been there. You first turn the key and it goes click, 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 click. So you think I got a bad battery. Um, that could be, but you know, test battery. Make sure it's fully charged. It's fully charged. Turn the key again, it goes click, 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 click. So you know that sound and most people rightly assume it's a starter. But before you go out and buy a starter, try one simple thing. And uh, that's what I did. And I'll show you what I do. Let me turn the camera around. Okay, uh, you know, I thought I screwed it up because I actually used the power wash the other day to kind of clean the engine uh, of all the dust and debris. And here's what we had going on. Here's the battery for this series uh, mower. It's right behind the actual motor. And you can see we've got a negative on that side and positive on that side. Well, uh, sometimes these things get corroded and all that dust you see there is corrosion, battery corrosion that uh, builds up on the terminals. So what you need to do is go spend a couple of bucks and get yourself one of these. This is for, you see those wire bristles? You can push this on top of something and twist it back and forth. I'll put this down for a second. It also comes apart so it has kind of that Christmas tree wire brush so you can get in the holes and just um, turn it back and forth and it really good, does a good clean job. That's going to be three or four bucks. Also get yourself some wire brushes. So I, I did that, got this all cleaned up, uh, but I also noticed the condition of the terminal connection screw. This is what I took off. It is just, look like, it looks like it's been arc welded. So I went on and got a, went to my, you know, everybody's got those little 40 drawer spare parts bins in their, uh, in their garage. I searched for about 10 minutes and found an appropriate screw or bolt and nut, tighten it on and voila, the thing started right up. So it wasn't the battery, it wasn't the starter, it was simply a dirty connection, which happens all the time. So go ahead, get yourself a wire brush and add this to your periodic maintenance checklist. Also add it to your troubleshooting if you're having trouble starting. That's it, hope this video helps you guys. If it does, hit like and subscribe. I put new ones on all the time. And as always, thanks for watching.